Down Syndrome Ireland is a national organisation uh, representing people with Down Syndrome and their families. It's a lifelong commitment to its members from early development advice to newborn babies through to education, health and independence as each child progresses through the various stages of life. Our research has shown that many of our young adults they did not acquire literacy skills as they were coming through the schooling system and that there was a need, indeed a demand, for Down Syndrome Ireland to address this issue. Our latest initiative is Latch On, Literacy and Technology Hands On. Down Syndrome Ireland's Latch On programme is about investing in people, people with Down Syndrome of all levels of ability. Through Latch On, Down Syndrome Ireland is developing a community of practice where teachers and students are working together to develop new understandings of and about language and literacy. Latch On is part of an ongoing program of research at the University of Queensland's School of Education. The School of Education was recently ranked in a national assessment of research performance as the leading centre of educational research in Australia. In addition to our partnership with Down Syndrome Island, we also work with Endeavour, a large not-for-profit organisation in Australia who works with people with intellectual disabilities. Down Syndrome Ireland is running latch on programs across all four provinces. We have 13 teaching sites nationwide. These include a teaching site in Waterford, Limerick, Clare. We have two teaching sites in Kerry. We have two teaching sites in Kildare. We have a teaching site in Dublin, Roscommon, in Cavan, Monaghan, Louth and Meath. The Latch On programme in Drogheda started in April 2012. It's a programme about literacy, but it has come to mean much more than just literacy. It has come to mean um, an opportunity for these young people to get together and to rekindle their interest in reading, writing and literacy in general. It also is an opportunity for older students perhaps who didn't have the opportunity to use computers in a classroom that they are now getting a more formal um, education on how to use uh, word processing in particular in computers but also things like um, using the internet and Facebook and Skype. At the University of Queensland since 1977 there has been a continuous longitudinal study of individuals with Down syndrome. The data from these studies has shown that individuals with Down syndrome do not plateau in their development at 12 years. These individuals can sustain learning well into their adult years. We do, as teachers, not know the potential of these young people because nobody has offered them opportunities to sustain their learning lifelong. Latch On was developed to try and address both the research and teaching needs to provide the community with knowledge and information about how lifelong learning can be sustained for individuals with Down syndrome. The Latch On program is comprised of interwoven elements. Talking, listening, viewing, shaping, and using technology are now included in our contemporary understandings of literacy. We're building a community of learners here at the Edmund Rice Centre under the programme of Latch On. We have a team of nine students, a key teacher, two tutors and three volunteers involved in the programme here in Waterford along with the the management committee and the Waterford branch and the families and the supporting communities and we're really building a community of learners, learners who are engaging with literacy materials and engaging with um, the wider context of being an adult and um, totally engaging in the, their interests and the work that they wish to pursue and um, exploring and investigating what it is to be an adult here in Waterford today and in Ireland and in the European Union and beyond and um, just really fulfilling our potential. Adult learners with Down syndrome are as diverse as other groups of adult learners in terms of their interests, abilities, aspirations and previous life and learning experiences. Uh, we'll take one and pass it on. Take one of um, Desmond's and pass it on. Is that Desmond? So we're going to say no matter 
So music is the topic and then within that then we are working with skills of writing, recognising the names of the artists, we're printing off and we're singing the songs that we love and we absolutely are enjoying it and one student is interested in Michael Jackson but another student is interested in Tommy Fleming and another student is interested in Meatloaf and, and it's, it's, we're really having an opportunity to open up and experience other people's interests that maybe are unknown to us and unknown to me <laughs> and, um, and in that process it, we're really just broadening and expanding our horizons and our potential and our engagement with literacy. It's uh, very inspiring and um, very fulfilling. Black John is the missing piece of the jigsaw for my um, education and well-being. Basically I um, access the local library in Waterford and I um, take out books and since then my reading has really progressed gone sky high. He told me every day on the computer so I lost. That's why this thing happened to me. They're quite different in many ways. Some of them are more advanced than others. But Lisa is very good to adapt the programme. I think it gives them great confidence and they're obviously very involved with it and engaged with the programme. And it focuses very much on their own interests and through that then it helps their language skills and their communication skills. In the Latch On programme for me it's very much about being in a social setting where we're all very much supported in the learning through the different um, methods of engaging in literacy today and just we're very much supportive of each other. I very much encourage students to follow their interests and then we build the supports around that. The Latch On programme uses the four resources model to guide teaching and learning. The model focuses on the learner by addressing the practices and skills that learners need to be literate. It is learner-centred in that the model acknowledges that literacy involves active social processes that demand high levels of learner engagement. In this model, learners become code breakers, text users and participants, as well as text analysers. Students develop their personal goals and talk, read and write to real audiences and produce texts with purposes and genuine outcomes. In addition, the model is principled in that it draws together a range of theoretical paradigms for teaching literacy that have been developed through evidence-based research. I take feedback as participation. I mean, people's attendance and participation here is incredible. The attendance record here is amazing. Like, and in the past, I worked a lot with adults, and I always take you know, people's engagement with something as an evaluation of how to think it's going, because adults don't come to something unless they're enjoying it. The last question I'm going to ask you is, um, who is your favourite actor or actress? Um, my favourite actor or actress? It is kind of really important for people with, with Down syndrome how to read and write. So uh, they need to stand up for their, for their rights. Well, I would love to be improved. To be a good, to be a good reporter in Ross FM radio station, but I know it's kind of hard work. Otherwise, Latchon will help me to reach my goals. Can anybody tell me uh, another quality that Helen has? Kind. She's a kind person, Jim. Yeah, definitely, She's definitely a kind person. Anybody else give me a good quality for Helen? Helen will be 20 at the end of this month. She's doing very well. Her reading and her writing has come on the side, especially her reading and her computer skills. That's one thing that will be new to her. That has come on the side. And Helen does drama with her, and she loves drama. And I think that's one area where her personality has really come out in the last few months. Her language has improved, certainly. Her speech has come on a lot since this started. She puts her sentences together 
and she has more bigger words like saying doing her hair in the morning if I put in something she says such a one would be jealous of me that's all a new word for her like you know so certainly her speech has come on a sight and she understands things an awful lot better. Down Syndrome Ireland will spend over a million euro in bringing this program to Ireland and in fact Down Syndrome Ireland are the first country in Europe to bring this program to the European shores. We were delighted when Down Syndrome Ireland took up the opportunity to enter into a partnership with us. This partnership is now in its second year and we're looking forward to a long-term relationship with Down Syndrome Ireland where we can help young adults with intellectual disabilities make a difference in their own lives through continuing education. The Latyan programme in Dublin is run here in Matter Day on the campus with the students. Uh, we begin at 10 o'clock in the morning and we finish at half past three. There are 11 students in the programme. We have students that are very able, who need to be challenged. The Latyan programme, it will put a lot of emphasis on developing comprehension. And comprehension can emerge incidentally as well as formally. And when you get opportunities like that, incidentally, they're the most useful because they apply to themselves and their real world and their real lives. Reading and work and writing is important. I do like to learn. I like to research. There are always students who are willing to help others and to contradict others and to bring others back to base and challenge the views and opinions of others. Students are, are at ease expressing their views and uh, when they're contradicted or challenged they're ready to come back again and defend their point of view and it leads to interesting debates and discussions on all kinds of topics. To have as many opportunities during the day as possible to use multi-sensory techniques. Many students with Down syndrome are visual learners so any opportunity we can get to engage the students physically, orally as well as orally because there's a student with, a, with an oral impairment. We try to use all the senses and try to have as balanced a day as possible every day using all the senses. What's that? Hey, what's that? What? What? One of those students would have a visual impairment, so that student might have difficulty seeing the words, and therefore the other student had to keep that student on task, and also to remind that student every so often what's going on, because some students may go off track, and if you have another student who has the understanding, to bring them back on track in a pleasant way, that works. I think definitely it's, it's to develop opportunities for young adults with uh, Down syndrome to help them really have more um, opportunities in life. Since I started this programme I've seen a huge change in all of the students that we've had, um, especially in confidence wise and to see them grow and just basically to be happier in themselves. I hope that we give them the skills, help them to have the skills to develop in life and to be more um, self-independent and to be more confident within themselves. Learning. Waiting. It's about being covenant. Granted. Listen to prayers. Education. Believing in yourself. Honor. Friendship. Teamwork. Independence. Me. Our students are now eagerly attending their classes, talking more, taking and delivering telephone messages and texts, showing an interest in current affairs and displaying a zest for life that was previously absent from their usual demeanour. This programme really has to be lifelong. That it's something that, um, you know, if you don't use it, you're going to lose it. In recent years, it has been recognised through research that literacy encompasses a set of skills and strategies that are wider than traditional approaches to reading and writing. The focus for Latchon is on multi-literacies, which recognises that students need to engage with texts in oral, print and multimedia domains, and this will in turn help them to engage fully in their community. Latchon for me is engagement, it's communal, it's um, participation, it's empowerment, it's friendship, it's hope, it's the future, it's reading, it's writing, because they are the tools we need for change as well people believing in you.